Good evening, it's Wednesday, May 1, 2019 here in Cebu City. I'm Sherry Ann Lim, and here's all you need to know in News Bits tonight. Two children were killed while one was injured after an 18-wheeler truck hit them in Barangay Tejero, Cebu City, this morning. Here's Wendelin Sabalo for the details. A 5-year-old and a 10-year-old girl were killed on the spot while a 12-year-old was injured after an 18-wheeler truck ran them over around 9 o'clock this morning in Sitio Silangan Dos in Barangay Tejero, Cebu City. The fatalities were identified as baby Angel Lagan and Mary Joy Borromeo. Injured was Rosemary Vasquez, who was rushed to a hospital. Police Master Sergeant Edgar Baton of the police station 3 said the driver of the truck did not know that he hit the three girls until he was told by another driver. The victims were last seen bathing in the rain on Aureliano Extension before the incident happened. A mother of one of the children said they will file a case against the driver. The driver was brought to the hospital as he sustained wounds after residents beat him. Wendelin Sabalo, News Beats Tonight. Thousands of local and overseas jobs were up for grabs in Cebu during the 117th celebration of Labor Day. The Cebu Provincial Government held a job fair earlier today where more than 5,000 job opportunities were available for job seekers. Labor and Employment Officer Julius Chua said 41 companies participated in the job fair. Most of the job openings were for wholesale and retail trade representatives and manufacturing services. There were also companies looking for skilled workers, information and communication services, and health and social workers. Meanwhile, the Department of Labor and Employment Central Visayas opened the Negosyo at Kabuhayan Job and Business Fair inside the SM Trade Hall. Here's the latest in sports with Nico Tubo. Kevin Durant and the Golden State Warriors handled business at home against James Harden and the Houston Rockets to take the 2-0 lead in the NBA Western Conference semifinal. Durant scored 29 points and defended Harden, the reigning MVP, to lead the Warriors to 115-109 victory on Wednesday. Stephen Curry added 20 points, while Klay Thompson, Andre Iguodala, and Draymond Green were also in double digits. Harden got hit in both eyes early in the game, but he was able to return and finish the game with 29 points and 7 rebounds. Chris Paul scored 18 points, while four other Rockets also had double-digit scoring. Game 3 will be played in Houston on Sunday. Nico Tubo, News Bits Tonight. Here's the latest in entertainment with Chari Coronel. Young actor Nash Aguas is now a proud owner of a house in Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. The 20-year-old actor posted about his recent property investment on his Instagram account just last week. Nash posted another photo showing him in the neighborhood of his new property. Celebrities congratulated the Capamilia actor. Former actress Neri Miranda commended Nash for being a good example to young people when it comes to handling money. Aside from the house in Las Vegas, the young actor reportedly has another investment. Nash started in showbiz at the age of five when he joined a kiddie talent search in the now-defunct ABS-CBN noontime show, Magandang Tanghali Bayan. In 2004, at the age of six, he joined the kiddie talent show Star Circle Quest, where he won as the Grand Kid Quester. He then became part of the long-running kiddie gag show, Going Bulilit. Charlie Coronel, News Beats Tonight. To get the latest, visit www.sunstar.com.ph. Follow us on our YouTube channel and official social media accounts on Twitter and Facebook. 
I'm Sherry Ann Lim. Good evening.